hey fam welcome once again welcome to every one of you and god bless you in jesus Christ's name if you are meeting me for the very first time my name is Chantal Kabe, and always i'm coming to you with the word and we do our prophetic prayers monday to friday 7 20 a.m mst denver colorado time today i'm here to share something very important and very powerful as well most of us don't know what happens when we pray most of us don't know the things the mysteries that takes place in the spirit when we pray to our father hallelujah prayer is very very powerful it's very very effective and prayers does wonders today i'm here to let you know what happens when you pray to god and why you should continue to pray to god for those of us who have been doing so and for those who are not yet praying i'm here to encourage you to start praying today because you are missing out there is so much that happens when you pray and i'm going to be explaining it today by the help of the holy spirit and also by experience and revelation so let's just thank god right now father we thank you we worship you we put this into your mighty hands we ask that you will have your way and receive all the glory holy spirit you're welcome to have your way speak through us and receive all the glory in jesus mighty name amen hallelujah so um i'm gonna begin by telling you this god encourages us to pray at all times luke chapter 18 and verse 1 men ought always to pray and not to faint so god is encouraging you and i to keep praying and not to faint not to get tired or weary when we pray hallelujah or of praying because prayer is very very powerful and there are things that are changed in our lives when we pray to God especially when we do it consistently most of us don't get to see results because we pray but we are not consistent with our prayers we pray once or twice and then we leave it no Jesus wants us to be like the widow who kept persisting until she received what she was asking for so today I'm here to encourage you once again if you are praying continue to pray if you haven't seen the answer Answer, I bet you you're definitely going to see it as you keep praying the Bible says ask and it shall be given seek you shall find knock and the door shall be open hallelujah now when you pray there are powerful things that happen very very powerful things that take place when you pray number one when you pray you should understand that you are no longer operating as a natural man but God when you pray is opening you up to the realm of the spirit and this is a very very powerful realm this realm is only open to those that pray hallelujah it's open to those that pray and also to those who fellowship on the word those who read those who meditate on the word of God when you pray to God he opens you up to the realm of the spirit when you are open up to that realm there is so much that takes place I want to let you know that the realm of the spirit is so real and it's governed by two forces the good and the evil as we all know now the good is of God and the evil is of the devil but when you pray actually what happens is you are opened up more to the good and not to the evil and when you're open up to the good there are things that you are going to be seeing there are mysteries that will be revealed to you there are dimensions that will be released to you by reason of your prayer this connection that you have with the father through prayers hallelujah when you are open to the realm of the spirit there are things you will contact that normal men will not be able to or normal activities will not be able to do when you pray you are open to those things and the lord is connected to you as well let me take you to psalms chapter 91 and verse 1 the bible says he who dwells in the sacred place of the most high I want you to take note of the word dwells. It means that is the place you should be in. That is the place you should live in. He who dwells there in the sacred place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty God. Now, this is the second thing that prayer does. Prayer guarantees divine protection. When you pray, you are protected. When you pray, you are covered. There are things that happen in the realm of 
of the spirit that God covers you from, keeps you from. Hallelujah. He releases his angels. In Psalms chapter 91 verse 11 says, He will give his angels charge over you to keep you in all your ways. He releases his angels to be with you, to protect you. When you go to bed, the angels are there to fight for you. When you wake up in the morning, the angels are there with you. When you are going about your day, doing your activities, the angels of the Lord are there with you. They are protecting you. They are covering you. Hallelujah. They are fighting for you. That is what prayer does. They are things that you cannot do on your own as a man. But prayer by the help of the Holy Spirit is going to help you do these things. They are realms you cannot access. But prayer by the help of the Holy Spirit is going to help you access these realms. Hallelujah. So prayer protects you. It keeps you preserved. It keeps you covered from every harm. Prayer as well gives you divine direction. Why? Because it reveals to you the mind of God. The Bible says when we pray, especially when the Holy Spirit does that through us, the mind of the Father is going to be made known to us. Because when you pray, you are going to be able to hear from God. And so prayer helps to open your ears, your spiritual ears, so you can hear from the Holy Spirit. That is you hearing from God. So when you hear from God on certain things, certain matters, it's going to help guide you on how to do these things. Say, for example, you're about to start a business and you're wondering if that is from God or not. All you need to do is go to God in prayers. When you begin to pray, God is going to help you. He will speak to you. If you don't get to hear him through the voice of the Holy Spirit, he's going to speak to you through those around you or through the word. But one way or the other, when you pray, the Lord is going to guide you. He's going to direct you and he's going to speak to you. Hallelujah. It's going to open up your ears more and more to the things of the Spirit. Hallelujah. Jesus, I see someone coming to that dimension in the name of Jesus. Prayer also releases keys. Do you know there are keys that we need to access certain things, certain levels, certain gates, certain doors, certain dimensions? Have you ever prayed and you see yourself receiving keys from the Father? Keys stands for access. It equally stands for success. Have you ever prayed you see God giving you keys? There are times keys stands for physical buildings as well and cars and all of that. That is what prayer does. That is what prayer can do. It will help you to access things. You know, praise and worship is part of prayers. And so when you read the scriptures and you find that Paul and Silas began to worship and praise at midnight, the gates were open. Hallelujah. Divine access by reason of prayers. By reason of prayers. Another example is the Israelites who went round the walls of Jericho praising God. The walls came down. Prayers. So prayers will give you divine access. Hallelujah. That is what prayers can do. And also another thing prayer does is open up your eyes. Prayer is going to open up your eyes. You will see more than you are seeing right now. You're going to see deep things. You're going to see powerful things. The gifts of vision will be released to you. Prayer equally helps to sharpen your discernment. A man who pray is very discerning. Hallelujah. He can easily test the spirit and discern between a good and a bad spirit. So prayer helps to sharpen your discernment as well. These are the things that prayer does. Prayer is also going to open up the supernatural to you. What do I mean by the supernatural? natural a realm of the miraculous a realm of blessings a realm of increased favor is going to open that up to you promotion speed god is going to open that up to you when you pray when you pray to him you are open up to that automatically hallelujah prayer also helps to protect your family and it helps to secure your future when i talk of your family you know you can't pray sometimes without praying for your family and even if you don't really get to pray for them directly your prayer covers them your prayer covers your family members and your prayer also goes a long way to secure your future prayer is like a seed that you plant when you plant them today tomorrow you're gonna see the outcome tomorrow you're gonna see the 
result, the effect. So I'm going to encourage you through this world, through this video to pray. Begin to pray. Start praying. Prayer is going to cause God to move in you in ways that he has never done before. And you're going to become a mighty vessel in his hands. Hallelujah. Especially for those who have the gift um, to intercede. Prayer is going to affect that. That is what you should do when you have that gift. Pray. Pray and seek the face of the Lord. Bible says, Philippians chapter 4 and verse 6, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, through prayers and supplications, and with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known unto God. So prayer is going to bring peace as well in your heart, because it's going to take you take away the anxiety. When you, are, when you start feeling anxious as a human being, sometimes you can avoid it. You know, when you feel anxious, go to God in prayer. It's going to take away the worry, take away depression, and it will give you peace so prayer gives us peace hallelujah it gives us peace these are the things that happens when we pray when we pray we are very close to the heart of god as well when we pray things are being stirred up in the spirit and lastly but very important as well prayer helps you to become authoritative hallelujah it builds up your dominion as a man of god and as a woman of god it helps you to have dominion in the realm of the spirit it puts you in a position where you become in charge in charge so if you want to be in charge the only way you can do that is in the place of prayers and i'm going to advise you also pray at midnight hallelujah god bless you thank you all so much i'm praying for the fire of prayer the spirit the baptism of prayer to come upon you this day in the name of jesus that the more you pray the more you want to pray and you're going to be touching the heart of god while you pray accessing deep things in jesus mighty name Amen. May God bless you, keep you, and cause his face to shine upon you. Thank you all so much. Please don't forget to like the video if it was a blessing to you. Go on and like it and share with someone. I believe God is going to use it to bless them abundantly. Thank you for doing so. God bless you and I wish you a wonderful rest of your day. I love you so much. I hope to see you shortly by his special grace.